What's going on guys, JPod here bringing you another fantastic Last of Us gameplay commentary. It's going to be a quick video today. Just wanted to chit chat about a few things to you guys. For starters, E3 2014 is officially wrapped up. It was a great year for E3, especially for Sony. And uh, I was impressed with a lot of things. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things with E3. I went ahead and did another year of E3 coverage here on JPOT Gaming. And I just wanted to say it's going to be the last time I do it. Um, yeah, just nobody's interested. And I spent, you know, the past four or five days constantly recording, rendering, recording, rendering, uploading, uploading, rendering, re you know, and it's just... Uh, I waste of my time, in other words. It was a complete and uttermost waste of my time. But I enjoyed the coverage, and I wanted to you know, get it to a few of you guys who actually gave a rat's ass. So um, if you guys uh, didn't even know that I had E3 videos from 2014 on my channel, there's a tab there on the homepage and everything, E3 coverage. Go check it out. Let me know what you guys think. You know, I'm excited for The Order, 1886. Uh, I'm sure Undead Warrior out there and a few other people are really excited for the new infamous standalone. It's the uh, First Light DLC. I don't know if it's DLC or, I don't know, Undead Warrior. Go ahead and chime in. Explain that to me. Uh, moving on, a lot of good games out there. The Division, the, the newly announced game from Ubisoft, The Siege, Rainbow Six, The Siege. That looks fucking sick. I cannot wait to check that game out. But, uh, you know, these games aren't going to be coming out for a couple of years anyways. But uh, what is coming out this year is The Last of Us HD Remastered. They got the trailer for it. They're already doing comparison videos for the PS3 and PS4. I checked it out. I think GameSpot's got a really good comparison video. Be sure to go over there and check it out. Uh, this is where the sniper just completely rapes my ass. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this shit. Sniper Alley, I do believe uh, he shoots my head off uh, multiple times in this gameplay. Uh, speaking of gameplay, nothing fancy at all. Actually, I, I got my ass kicked. The rest of the team, they did pretty good, but I just got my fucking ass kicked. There's another headshot. What a dick. Jeez. But, um, yeah, you know. E3, it's wrapped up, it's over, I'm glad it's over, because now I can finally rest my brain, I mean, I was constantly on the uh, live events viewer app there on the PlayStation 3, and uh, I'm gonna br bring up the reason why I had to use my PlayStation 3 to watch E3 this year, um, Unfortunately, I was unable to check out the E3 app for the PlayStation 4. We'll get into that in just a second. But yes, the Live Events Viewer app, uh, I didn't realize it. I guess that's US only. So people like Jay Kinsey out there, he couldn't watch the uh, PlayStation Live Access. Uh, the PlayStation cast was awesome. You know, that's the coverage that I brought to you guys on my channel was developer demos and interviews and hands-on looks with the, the creators and the devs themselves. But... Yeah, I'm just glad E3 is over. I wanted to go ahead and transition to something that's really, really been bothering me. Um, I'll go ahead and look at this guy. He's just murking me. I'm freaking out. You know what I mean? I thought he, I would get him to drop and I would just put a spiked bat into his fucking forehead. But as you can see, that didn't work out, obviously. Yeah, fuck you and your tea bag. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm a little aggro. I'm a little irritated today. I just got off the phone for, with, the, uh, with the Sony service department. Yes, I did say that I had to send off my PlayStation 4. Yeah, pretty bummed out. You know, a guy spends $500. I've never had any troubles in the past with Sony. You know, from the PlayStation 1 to the PlayStation 3, I, I you know, the, the PSP, the handheld device, I've never had any fucking problems. Look at that. Look, he got Luke as well. Got both of us. God, what a dick. Anyways, but yes, Sony is officially... On J Pot's motherfucking shit list. Yes, it is official, folks. Fuck you, Sony. That's what I got to say to you. That's what I got to say to you right now. Okay, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and explain everything to you in real time. The day after patch 1.17 for the PlayStation 4, and I'm assuming the PlayStation other devices, as soon as I downloaded that patch, it installed, it shut itself down, it turned itself back on. Standard procedure for doing a patch. Well, this wasn't standard. As soon as it turned itself back on, my Battlefield 4 decided to eject itself. So I'm sitting there going, duh, okay, you know, 
bewildered as fuck. Well, I go over there and I attempt to put the game back in the motherfucking PS4 and it says, no, 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 you cannot enter. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. And I'm freaking out here. I'm trying to put my disc back in the PlayStation and it's not taking it. All of a sudden, it's doing this auto eject every 10 seconds. It was scaring the shit out of me. Auto eject every 10 seconds. Guang. Guang. Like, like it was like a dry eject. It was trying to eject something that was in the PlayStation 4, but there was nothing in it. It's in my fucking hand. So I'm freaking out. Immediately, I'm pulling up the 1 800 number for Sony service. And um, I get them on the phone. Mind you, I got my PlayStation 4. For my birthday, April 16th, I got it on the 17th, and I registered it the following day. You have to give it like 48 hours or some shit. You can't register it right away. But I got it registered. Well, I call up the warranty service department. Come to find out, they tell me my PlayStation 4 is not registered. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? So we had to re-register it again, and I had to send off the PlayStation. We're going to wrap up this fucking video with this note right here. They have had my PlayStation for over 10 days now, and I've called them four times trying to get an update on what's going on, and they can't tell me anything. They said, I'm sorry, we can't tell you what's going on. I said, are you fucking nuts? Tell me if you fixed it. Tell me if you're sending me a new one. I'm sorry, service department does not release that kind of information. Are you fucking kidding me? So yeah, I just got off the phone with them just a little bit ago, and uh, this bitch was snooty. She is repeating herself multiple times, and I finally, I said, you know, thanks for wasting my fucking time. Have a nice day. So, hope you guys enjoyed the rant. Sony, you are on my motherfucking shit list. My PlayStation 4 has been out for 10 days, and I can't play the Battlefield 4 Hardline Beta. Or not Battlefield 4, but the Battlefield Hardline Beta. I'm missing out. I missed out on the E3 app. I missed out on all the exclusivity, and I'm going to officially, I got a letter I have the address to the Sony corporate office in San Mateo, California, and you guys will be receiving multiple letters from me. I am going to get your attention. Your fucking piece of software broke on the biggest week of gaming, and I'm penalized. This is bullshit. Now UFC is right around the corner. I've got it pre-ordered and paid for, and it's going to come out, and I still don't have a motherfucking PlayStation. So yeah. Bad Mood Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy and peace the fuck out.